What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So God of War Ragnarok coming out finally gave me a reason to go ahead and get into streaming my PS5 to my Steam Deck. It's a great way for me to be able to play around the house and that type of thing. So anyways, so let's go ahead and get into setting this up. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you haven't already is make sure you have remote play enabled by going to your settings and system here on your PlayStation 5. You can do this with a PS4 as well. Enable remote play if that isn't done already. And in power saving, you do have features available in REST mode. This would allow you to turn on and off and do remote play while in rest mode from the network and from the device you're on. You also need to be able to do link device later on when we get into that, but what will happen is you'll get a 300 seconds, you'll get a code here that you can use your pin and we'll get more into that later. Now everything's going to be done on the desktop mode here on the Steam Deck, so go ahead and get into desktop mode if you aren't already. And things are also much easier done with a dock, keyboard, mouse, that type of thing. You don't have to have them, but it's much easier. Now, what I'm gonna use is one of many different methods I've run into for making this happen. So this isn't the only way, but go into your discovery app and go find Chiaki here. And this app is what's gonna be used to stream your PS5, but there's gonna be some other things we need to set up as well when it comes to getting your PSN ID. You can also go over to their webpage if you want to and take a deeper dive into what Chucky all about and learn more about controller remapping and that type of thing. Um, I'm not going to get heavy into that in this video. But anyways, let's get Chucky installed here. Once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and launch it. I do like to go ahead and make sure my PS5 is showing up. You must be on the same network. This isn't like the other native apps or whatever. You do need to be on the same network for this to show up. But since this is showing up, we're not going to try to connect to it. We're not going to do anything. I just want to make sure it's there. We're going to close this. We'll come back to it later and I'll go ahead and minimize this. So what we want to do is go ahead and get our network, our PSN ID, our actual user ID. And to do that, we're going to use our console here and four different lines of commands. I've got them here in the notepad. You can see them if you want to be able to just type them out, pause the video or do whatever you want. I'll also put each of these lines in order in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my first line here. This is going to allow us to get in and actually get access to what our account ID is. Um, there's different methods for doing this. This is just the only one I found that worked for me each time I tried it. So I'm going to paste this first one in. I'm going to hit enter and you want to wait until this is done before you do anything else here. So we'll give that just a second to go ahead and get finished up. Now we've got deck at Steam Deck again here. We're ready for our next line. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this next one. Be ready to paste that in. Once I get that pasted here again, we'll hit enter. And that's a pretty quick one here. We'll let it finish. All right. Now we're ready to go into our third line. I'll go ahead and get this highlighted and copied. All right. We're going to paste this into our console. We'll hit enter just like the others. And then that's quick again. We're going to go for our fourth and final line here. And then once this is done, it's going to tell us what our next steps are to go get logged in. So we'll go ahead and paste this here, hit enter. And once that's finished, you'll see it gives us a link to copy and go to in the browser and also says after logging in, when the page shows redirect, copy that URL address and paste it here. So I'll show you how to do that. First, we're gonna go ahead and highlight and copy the link that we need to go to. I'm gonna use Edge that I have here, but you can use whatever browser uh, you like to use here. So let's take this link over, open up the browser. We'll do a paste and go. It's going to take you to sign up on your uh, PlayStation account. So sign into your PlayStation account here. Once you're signed in, it'll take you to the redirect page. That redirect page, you just want to copy the address up here in the URL bar. So we're going to copy that and we'll take that over to console like it's asking us to do here. We'll go ahead and paste that in. Once we paste that in and hit enter, it'll request the authorization. And then the very bottom of that, you're gonna see this is your account ID at the very bottom, and you're gonna have a little string of letters, numbers, symbols, whatever there, that's your actual account ID for PlayStation. This is how you get access to that. You're gonna be able to use that to actually now connect to your PlayStation 5 with Chiaki. So let's get into that here. We're gonna go ahead and launch Chiaki again now. I'm gonna pin that while I'm here. All right. Now, before we go ahead and click on that to connect, I do want to jump over here and just click on the settings uh, gear here because you can go in here and change a few things if you want to off the bat, but you can also get into this later. I'm going to leave things at the 720p, 60 FPS since the deck is 800p. And there's some remapping you can do here as well, like for the touchpad and stuff like that. Uh, touchscreen tends to work for the touchpad, it seems like. Um, but there's also, you can uh, make it to where clicking the um, touchpad will also open up the PlayStation menu, but I'll show you that later. So we're going to click 
click on this, you might have to click it two or three times. It'll go ahead and open up here to connect to your PlayStation. Now, what we care about here is the PSN account ID. That's that ID you just got. And then that pin I was showing you on the PlayStation earlier. So the first thing I want to do is go over to the console, copy and paste in that user ID that we got. Next, I'm going to go over to my PlayStation and go back to that area I showed you in remote play with linked device. And then you're going to take whatever code or number it gives you and you're going to go put that into Chiaki here at pin and then register is going to light up. So you're going to click register and then we'll see here we should successfully connect for a PS5. So we go so successfully registered, click OK. And now we could actually go ahead and stream right here in desktop mode if we wanted to. So I'll go ahead and click on this a couple times and it will bring up uh, the streaming for the PlayStation 5. So everything here is working really good. I can grab the Steam Deck, move the controls around, and it's picking up all of that just fine without any problem. But of course, we do want to be able to do this over in game mode, make it look really clean and nice. So we'll get into that next. But for the most part, it's working really good. Let me close this out. I'm going to leave the PlayStation awake here because we're still doing stuff. And then we'll go ahead and close out Chiaki and we'll add it to Steam as a non-Steam game. So what we're going to do is open up Steam here. We're going to add a game. Go to add a non-Steam game, and we're going to go up here and click on Chiaki. And then we're going to add selected programs. That's going to put it into Steam, into our library. I'll scroll down here. We'll select it, and you can see Chiaki is right here. Now, when we get over to game mode, we'll go into the controller scheme a little bit. But um, if I go into properties here for Chiaki, I can go ahead and start putting in like my uh, icon media and stuff. So I have a lot of videos on the channel already showing how to go insert all the different media icons and stuff. I didn't make any particular ones for Chiaki. I just Googled and downloaded a couple pictures I could insert here real quick for the video. But um, you can go in here and get your icon and your banner and your capsule and all those things uh, put into Chiaki or so. I'll just do a couple really quickly and then we'll move on to game mode. So all this is working ready. We're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and close this out and we're gonna restart the Steam Deck and go into game mode. All right, now we're over in game mode. Chiaki's showing up just fine here as is my media. I'm gonna go over to the controller settings. I'm gonna go to edit layout. Now I've already done this, but if you go down to trackpads and you go right here to where mine says escape key, uh, yours may be, say something different there. You want to click on that and change it. I like that because when I click on the right trackpad, it's an escape key, which Shaki has mapped to the PlayStation button. And that seems to work really well. So I'll go in here and click play and it's going to launch. And then you're gonna have to tap this on the screen. So tap a couple of times. The first time never seems to work. Tap it two or three times real quick and it'll bring up the PS5 stream. And there we are again. I'm right into streaming my PlayStation 5. And this has been working really well for me. Sometimes, you know, the audio will cut in and out or there might be some little glitches here and there, but like 99% of the time, this has been a really good, solid experience here. The 60 FPS has been really smooth, not getting too many stutters or issues and controllers are working nice and all that. Let's go ahead and jump into a different view here so that you guys can see. But yeah, everything works really well. If I click on that trackpad like I was talking about, it brings up that PlayStation uh, menu there for the PlayStation button. I can also touch the screen and that's like touching the uh, trackpad or touchpad or whatever on the PlayStation DualSense and brings up the menu there. So everything seems to work uh, really well. I haven't run into any problems here. I've really only been using it to play God of War Ragnarok up to this point. It was my main motivation for getting into this and I decided to make the video, but a pretty easy process overall. And you can even go in and really tweak these settings. I'm using a per game profile bring down your TDP. Um, I've been messing with six to 10 watts to see what I can get. You can even mess with the GPU if you want, but you can really push this and get four to five hours of battery in my experience so far uh, with this. So really not too bad with streaming uh, the PlayStation 5 since the PlayStation is doing all the heavy lifting and everything. It works really well for that. But anyways, guys, this is pretty cool. Thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, if you haven't already subscribed, thumbs up or ring the bell. Leave me your comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.